This morning's Coffee With us with Michael Connolly. And the satellite interview is furnished by Little Brown and Company. I want to welcome Michael Connolly back to WJZ in the Morning Edition. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Well, I got to tell you, um, you know, you're, we're talking about The Late Show here, it's your newest book, and your newest character, and she is someone who works the overnight shift, hence The Late Show. Why is she and not a he? Um, I think it had something to do with the inspiration. Um, I'm involved in uh, a show called Bosch, which is based on my books that we make for Amazon, and we try to make that show, uh, like my books, as accurate as possible, and so we have real live detectives um, as consultants who are in the writing room and then on the set and so forth. And one of these detectives is named Mitzi Roberts, and she's a homicide detective for the LAPD. I've gotten to know her over the last few years, and she told me about how early in her career she worked the midnight shift in Hollywood and how it was uh, just an amazing variety of types of cases for a detective to work and how much she loved it. I would have thought, like, who wants to work the midnight shift? But she talked about how much she loved it. And, uh, and that's really the point of inspiration. And since it was coming from her, I thought, why not? I mean, I've written 29 books. I should challenge myself, myself and, you know, write a, a book that uh, is carried by a female detective for the first time. And thus, I come up with Renee Ballard, uh, who works The Late Show. And I can appreciate the challenge. Uh, it, takes, it takes a lot of brass below the belt to do that. But are there times where you have to go to a lady friend or uh, someone close to you and say, if I got a thought process right here, um, you know what I, I, you know I probably did that. Well, I went, I had Mitzi there, so I talked to her quite a bit as I went through this book, and then um, I had her read an early draft, and she vetted it for me, and then she came back with some changes, especially in dialogue, like this is what I would say, you're writing like maybe what Harry Bosch would say. So I had that going for me. But for the most part, I, I try to write about people who are very competent and fierce in what they're doing, being detectives, going after villains. And, uh, and that's the overriding thing. So it's rare that I would say, what would a woman do in this situation? Just like when I write my other books, I don't say, what would a man do in this situation? Interesting. And the conversation part is very interesting because I just said to you, it takes a lot of brass below the belt to do that. I'd like to know what my co-anchor what would have, how she would have phrased that. That, that's a, that was a real interesting uh, topic there. Do you see? Yeah, you're going to have to talk to her about that. Well, yeah, well that, well, that will happen for sure. Do you, okay, so are, are you signed up to make her a character in many, in, 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 in future projects, or is this a one and done? No, I don't want it to be a one and done. But usually I write a book and, you know, I make that decision afterwards. Like, is there more to say about this character? And I think with Renee Ballard, there's a lot more to say. And, you know, a little bit is by design. Uh, I think you, everybody gets better at what they do the more they do it. So I'm, I'm 30 books into this. And so I knew, you know, to put some stuff in there that needed further explanation. So I think there's a lot of hooks for both me, uh, the writer, and the reader um, that hopefully will bring them back the next time I write about Renee. 30 books. Did you, thought, did you think when you started this, you'd ever said, I'm 30 books into this? No, it's, it's a weird thing to say. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, you start out, you're just trying to get one book published, and then you get that. And then I remember I got a two-book contract after that, and I was thinking, great, I'm going to at least have three books and you just kind of keep your head down and write the best story you can and and hope uh, there's an audience and a publisher who wants to uh, to uh, carry your story forward your stories forward and I've just been very lucky I've been surrounded by really good people um, I've had people in the worlds I want to write about you know courtrooms and police departments want to help me and uh, uh, I'm very lucky to be sitting here and saying I'm 29 30 books into this well, all your readers are, are uh, very lucky that you're saying you're not 30 books into this. Hey, congratulations. Thanks for being with us. We can't wait to do it again. The Late Show, Michael Conley. Thank you. Talk to you later. All right, taking a break. Come right back. Traffic and first morning weather. It's WJZ.